Before we go this morning, we're going to talk about a fairly new organization here in the Keys known as the Florida Keys Keeper. Now, they are committed to protecting the unique environment of the Keys. They have a specific focus on the fish population and the marine environment that supports them. I'm going to talk this morning with one of the directors, Steve Tripp. Steve, it's a pleasure having you here. Thank you for taking the time to talk with us about the Florida Keys Keeper. Thanks for having us. It's a, it's a pleasure. Now, Steve, when did this organization get started? You know, the, the Seeds for Keyskeeper got started three or four years ago. Uh, there were a set of new regulations uh, being proposed by the Florida Wildlife Commission regarding permit, and we decided that we needed to be engaged in that as, as uh, recreational fishermen. So we went through the permit process just as individuals and then decided we really should have an organization that's a little more organized to try to, to look after those sorts of things. Great. And now there are three directors, and you all love fishing, don't you? <laughs> it, it, it's true. Uh, uh, it's it's, it's, it's uh, two avid fly fishermen and one mm -hmm. fishing guide. Okay. So the three of you make up the Florida Keys Keeper. And just give us a little overview, you know, your basic mission statement. Well, the mission statement is, is pretty much what you said. It's um, we're committed to preserving that unique in environment in the Florida Keys with a particular fo focus on fish populations and the marine environment that supports them, the corals, uh, the reef, the turtle grass. It, really, overall general water quality is what makes a fishery good or bad. Mm -hmm. So anything that has to do with water quality or fish populations is going to something we want to try to look at. Great. And now, obviously, the channel widening referendum is something that is a, a concern to you guys, and it's something you want to raise awareness about. And you have a, a meeting coming up very soon. Tell us about it. We do. We, we, um, we notice that there's just an awful lot of, of rhetoric on both sides uh, of, of the debate, and I think that's good. It's healthy. Mm -hmm. um, but we wanted to get a set of panelists that would really kind of focus on not only science, but then the economics behind the science. So we, we talked to Sean Morton, who's the superintendent of the, the sanctuary. Uh, we talked to Dr. Aaron Adams, who's the chief operating officer for Bonefish and Tarpon Trust. And we spoke with Dr. David Vaughn, of course, who I think you've interviewed uh, with Moat Marine Labs, and asked them if they would participate. And, and uh, thankfully, they all said yes. And we decided to run it as a, a town hall meeting uh, where they're all going to speak for 10 or 12 minutes. Uh, you know, and then we're going to open it up for uh, questions. Great. Well, this is going to be very informative because the people you have chosen to be on the panel, they know their stuff. They know the environment. They work in it every day. So they'll really be able to, I think, provide the information we need to hear. I think so. You know, if, if, uh, if, it, if it helps one person uh, mm -hmm. uh, make up their mind about how they want to vote, then, then, then it's worthwhile. Um, you know, it's, uh, we're hopeful that we'll have a fourth speaker. We've been talking to the Corps of Engineers. Uh, and I would love to have someone from the, the Corps of Engineers to, to show up and, and talk about their process and what the, what the process really is mm -hmm. and, and how they conduct themselves. So I'm hoping to hear about that this week. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this will be coming up very soon, the, the town hall meeting that you have. It's scheduled on August 22nd, and it is open to the public. It is open to the public. Mm -hmm. It's free. Uh, however, there is limited seating. So mm -hmm. you'll be able to come into the Tropic Cinema uh, I believe beginning at 6, six o'clock and grab a ticket and uh, I'm not sure what time they'll open the doors. It'll be shortly thereafter. Great. Well, I think it will be a, a good event and I look forward to hearing these speakers speak because we, I think we all have our opinion about whether we want the channel widening to happen or not happen, but we really don't know all of the facts. So hopefully this can address some of those facts. I think so, you know, and, and, and it'll be informative uh, uh, even beyond that, I, you know. We're going to have Sean Morton's going to talk about existing regulations that are in the mm -hmm. sanctuary. And there's, there's been a lot of questions and not a lot of answers about, you know, can you do this, can you do that. He's going to talk about the new corals that they've submitted to be listed as endangered or threatened. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I'm sure he will talk a little bit about the, the, the current ongoing 10-year review process mm -hmm. that the Advisory Council has been working for the last six months on. Um, and then he's, they have a lot of socioeconomic numbers that uh, uh, they can provide to people to say, look, this is, this is the benefit to our tourism economy uh, by having this here. Um, then you're going to have the same thing 
with a different twist from Dr. Vaughn. Uh, he's going to talk, I'm sure, quite a bit about coral restoration. Might show a short video uh, about how they're doing things. Uh, he's going to talk about the need uh, for, for a healthy uh, corals and healthy reefs and what that means to, to the overall $60 billion tourist economy in Florida. Mm -hmm. um, Aaron Adams will talk about what a healthy coral system and reef system and turtle grass means to the fish population. Mm -hmm. uh, and he'll also provide, uh, they've done a lot of work, they recently published a study, I think it was three or four months ago, on the economics of sport fishing, particularly in the lower keys, uh, uh, catch and release fishing, particularly fly fishing. And those numbers are pretty astounding. Great, great. Yeah. Well, hopefully everybody can make it on August 22nd to the Tropic and get there early because seating is limited. So get there around 6? I would say if you if you want to ensure yourself a seat, I I wouldn't be any later than six. Okay. I think I think it's going to be attended quite well. Wonderful. Well, thank you for being on this morning, and you'll have to come back again soon and give us an update on the Florida Keys Keeper. We'll do that. <laughs> great. Thank you everybody for tuning in and joining me today. I hope that you have a great rest of your day, and you can join me right back here tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. and back at 8:30 a.m. Take care and have a great rest of your day. If I